It is race week, and I know when you're gonna look at the dates, I haven't even announced this race because on a spur of the moment, flight, in fact, I signed up. Pacific Beach Half Marathon, that's coming up this weekend. Take a guess what city we're in, because of course, we are out traveling. Chicago and we are in Atlanta. Now I know I didn't get no pizza in Chicago, but let me show you this. That is pancakes, buffalo chicken, eggs, bacon, and potatoes on the side with a sour cream jalapeno sauce. I'm gonna drop a link to the description below where that was at. That's delicious. But anyways, we got work to do. Let's get to it. Absolutely three states, three days, good fun time, and then up to Pismo Beach. I got some running in up there, felt really, really good, did some hills. Big shout out to Jaden, who was my videographer for my night early morning run that you guys saw. So super excited about that. In fact, he's supposed to be there tomorrow morning to film the run. I spoke to the race organizer. They basically gave me the rules to have a media person with me. Super grateful that they're gonna allow that. The nice part is I'm not gonna be wearing a vest or have to carry much. Now, he will not be helping me in any way, meaning he will not be pacing me. He will not be carrying any of my nutrition. He's just gonna be videotaping me. I'm looking to PR my half marathon time. I believe my best half marathon time was 2.14.38. So we're looking to beat that. I gotta be honest with you, I feel pretty dang good. But let's get inside, pack it pick up time, let's go. It is the morning of the Pacific Beach Half Marathon. We're just getting ready, as you can see, it is dark, it is uh, foggy, which is great. We just kind of hope the overcast stays in until about nine o'clock when we're hoping to finish. But we are getting ready. So the start of this half marathon is down at Danza Cove. Really nice setup. It's a really big parking lot and I think the coordinators do a great job. If you sign up for this event for next year, 
go park at the finish line to have buses that are gonna bring you back over. But starting out, nice run. Uh, we do this little real quick loop and then all of a sudden people start to separate. Uh, key note for this, most of this course is on the pathways, so not a lot of street running. So if you're not doing events because you're afraid of running in the street, even though they close it down, this is definitely the event for you. Now, talking about how the event went, well, let's get into some of the video. So one of the big things I wanted to do in this race was hit my PR. So far, my half marathon best is two hours and 15 minutes, which I did last Veterans Day uh, with the Silver Strand uh, cause events. In fact, I'll drop a link to the description below in this because that is coming up. It's right around the corner. I think there's only a few spots left for that. Uh, so my goal was to beat that. And how was I gonna do that? Well, first off, I was going to beat the two hour and 15 minute pacers that were on course. In fact, I even let them start ahead of me. So that way, when our wave went, which I was in the 2.20 to 2.30, so two hours, 20 minutes, two hours, 30 minutes, I was with that pacer. So basically they had a, about a two minute head start on us and my goal was to run at a pace that was above the two hour, 15 minute mark, catch them and then stay ahead of them. <music> How are we feeling, Jay? Speechless. <laughs> So a few things on this, as you can see, I have somebody with me filming the event. A big shout out to Jaden for coming out and not only filming the event, but y'all, he had to run the whole thing with me. He had to run ahead of me at times, stop, film me going by twice or kind of different angles, 
And then he had to run to catch up to me again. And uh, by the way, it's pretty bad when he was completely not out of breath the whole race. Come the last mile, he said, hey, I'll see you at the finish line and just took off. Uh, but of course, I do have a few more pounds on him, but I'm super grateful that he was out there. Uh, he's a gentleman who helps me out at Roadrunner Sports. He's gonna be on my ultra team coming up uh, soon and we'll have a video started on that, of course. Uh, so big shout out to him. Uh, but let me tell you, it was a very, very fun race. And yes, I was extremely exhausted and there's a reason why. Oh. To the bar! Thanks, you only time I ran to a bar. <laughs> on purpose. How did the race go? Well, plain and simply, it went awesome. Uh, mile four is when I finally caught up to the two hour and 15 minute pacers. Uh, then of course I dropped my AirPod, they ran back by me, and then kind of just a little cat and mouse real quick. Hint of advice though, if you're trying to go after your PR, when you're catching people and you're catching pacers, for instance, just go, get by them and do what you have to do to stay in front of them. I only had to walk one time, that was mile seven, both of my shoulders were starting to hurt. So for about 300 yards, I stretched my shoulders out and then just went right back into my pace that I needed to do. Only one bathroom break, which if I wouldn't have done that because I had to wait in line for the bathroom, I would have even done better than I did. Uh, how did I feel at the end? Well, when I saw that I had to run on sand, I don't know how excited I was about that, but it is what it is. We went out there, we did it. Uh, all the people that came out to cheer everybody on, what an incredible finish line. Probably one of the best I've had, and I've done the rock and roll marathon and half marathon. I believe this by far was was way better. Uh, the fact that it ends at Shore Club, really, really cool. The only problem is they obviously got to walk upstairs. It's not what you want to do at the end. Big thanks to all the volunteers, the police officers that were out there, event organizers. Jaden, thank you for being out there running with me. Uh, just another fun day, run day for you. I uh, apologize this video took so long to get out. In fact, I have another one I gotta get in the works to get done. Uh, what's next? Well, next is our Ultra Ragnar run that we're doing, the SoCal Trail Ragnar experience. I'll drop a link in the description below on that. If you haven't already yet, hit the subscribe button, do everything the circle is gonna tell you to do right there. Share it with a friend, all of that. I can tell you that we have a giveaway coming up with Elevation Culture because we just completed an event with them. That's the next one I gotta cut and get up. But anyways, we'll see you guys next week or soon, maybe sooner, depends on how fast I can get these up. But we gotta get ready for our next event, which we are actually camping at. Thank you guys.